everyone how are you all hope you are doing very well so let's go ahead and continue our journey to build just eat application so uh, let's say that we're going to do the second part of the application which is google map and the animation and this amazing stuff so something like uber okay so to allow the customer to see the order and uh, see the driver and the map and we uh, and when he will expect the food to be delivered okay before i go ahead for the google map i will do to fix as we can see this shouldn't should be in the right so i will go in the app okay and i can see here the container the header okay i believe this shouldn't be clear fix okay and this will fix this issue and this i have uh, a logo in the other screen so i will copy and paste okay and i will go here and paste it in here over right okay and this should do the trick and it's very big okay uh, i believe we have class bootstrap okay go 50 okay and yeah so that's it should be uh, i believe yeah so it's 50 still too much so 25 okay all right cool so yeah it's very free if you want to adjust it but you know the idea all right so when i click here now i cannot see any page in here so let's uh, do the account okay so <coughs> let's go to the route which is we don't have any route for the account okay and i have not one super important thing this will be accessible for anyone i don't need i don't want to do this so i have to include the other middleware which is odd so this is not going to be accessible unless the user is logged in okay so what i'm going to do is the account in here okay and i will create uh, let's see what we have okay so let's grab what you want to grab in here okay so i will make this like account okay when you go to the, the account page okay i just want to retain uh, the view that's it okay so i have the user controller in here so i will grab this okay and i use the controller and let's call this my account maybe or oh sorry so this will be functions should be like this okay my account okay and i believe we can give it a nice name in here which is my account like this okay so 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 this will be account okay and yes we have a route in here but we don't have this function in here and what this claim sorry this, this shouldn't be here so okay so let's go to the user controller and do just f this function and let's call this my account and let's return view okay and what is the view will be we don't have it yet right so go to images uh, sorry views and i create a new folder in here i will call this account maybe or whatever okay and inside in here i will do basket maybe and i will do my account okay and uh, okay i don't need all of this stuff here so my account okay and in here so this will be two part but let's see the function in here first so this will be in account my account so let's see if this works okay cool so we are it's working i need to make this uh like sidebar okay so let's customize the view uh very quickly so what i'm going to do is okay we have the content i don't need to do so let's grab it like this and let's make container okay and let's come back here and let's make row in here and let's make a column okay and medium let's make it three okay and here will be the sidebar okay and here will be the right okay which is will be nine okay here is content i will do this and let's see what we have in here first okay cool so we have something very nice sidebar and uh, the content in the right i need this 
uh, to create this sidebar so how we can create this sidebar I uh, will create here a new folder called partial maybe or whatever partials okay and I will make a view I will call this my accounts sidebar like this and I will clear this blah 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 okay clear this all of this okay so let's now uh, we have nice bootstrap okay and so let's just make it ul okay and li and uh, this is class list group flash or item okay items and I will call this I make it like archive uh, and I will make it my details here my details sorry okay and I will grab this and I will define two three four and I will call this maybe track order okay we will uh, come back in don't worry about it my orders okay and this very nice and let's make this look out okay so the question is how we can include this and why I I done it in partial view because I need it in other page as well okay so let's uh, simply include this so Laravel make it or BHP make it very easy for us so inside the partial I need to go my account sidebar maybe isn't it so let's see if we can get it okay okay blah 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 is not found which is strange so partials okay yes I spell uh, this wrong sorry so let's rename this okay and I believe this should do the trick for us cool so we have in here which is good but uh, we need to do some margin in the top and the left so how we can do the margin is very uh, simple as very straightforward and I will come to the, the row and here five and from bottom five as well and I believe that's it for now I don't know why this get okay cool so yes we have this 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 okay I want to include uh, if I go to the track and order here I want to make it uh, I want to make a page in here I will call this track order okay I will include uh, Google map in here so yes we have okay cool so Google map will go in here so how we can do this is very straightforward and I will define a new uh, a new what basically a new UGS component because all this will be all about um, about uh, component okay about sorry about JavaScript track order map maybe okay I haven't created it why okay so I will create this track order map okay cool stuff cool stuff cool stuff track order map okay cool cool guys and I don't need to say any props maybe data I don't I have no idea and in here of course so we have this now track map how we can use it we learned it before guys right so we come in here and tell him that I want to use this bad boy okay we can okay and see if we can get it right here is my content and okay cool track and order. okay cool so let's make a route for the track and order okay so I will go to the web in here and okay how we can do this okay so I will come in here and I will define here maybe track order and I will call this track order okay why I I can retain a view okay but I need I might in the future do some function okay so very nice to have them like this okay okay so so in here track and order and retain a view I believe this will make it simple for us okay so I need to retain this right track orders okay so this will be 
اوكي يوزر بلا 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 اوكي كول اند اي كان جيف ات يو نو ذا ايديا جايز اي كان جيف ات ا نيم اور اي كان نوت از اب تو يو اوكي سو ام نوت جوينغ تو جيف ات ا نيم بات يو كان جيف ات ا نيم ان هير اوكي واي وي جيف ات ا نيم ان هير اف يو هاف يوز ذس ميني تايمز ان ذا ابلكيشن يو جاست تشينج ان ون بليس اوكي اف يو ونت تو تشينج اند يو هاف ذا نيم فور اول ذا 50 بيج And you just you need to change this the URL. You can change it here and it will reflect. But you have to the, to practice, okay? So I will go in here and I will make it like this. So it will uh, take us to the my orders in here. Yeah, cool. So track my order map, which is, is in here. How we can use the Google Map? This hundred percent the component. Uh, Go ahead and install this component as I will do just now. Okay, I will go in here and I will make like this, and I will come back when this finish. Okay, so after we install it successfully, let's go to the app, and I need to do some uh, configuration here very quickly. So after maybe after import, okay, Google Map, okay. So let's uh, define because in the documentation told us to. Do something like this. So I don't know if we can use it like this. So yep, yeah. So you do some configuration. I'm not going to do all like this, okay? And here is uh, the the library that you want to do to use. I am not going to use the library like this because I already included, and I will put the key in here. So I will. Uh, put the key and close this because I don't want you to see the keys how you get the keys we have explained uh, you can go and to Google console and or you can go and Google here okay create Google map key okay and follow this tutorial I will put the link in the description anyway after you get the key you put it in here okay so I will do just that and come back okay guys so I put the key okay so let's now do some magic in here so we can have the map okay so 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 what google map mr us tell us use this okay or should we do okay let's let's do what we have to do let's write it from uh, scratch or keep it like this it's up to you so we don't have this component so let's uh, What is the component name called? So, import. Yes, I forgot to use this. Okay, go again to the app. Okay, and in here maybe. Okay, and yes. So, I believe this use will be used in here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This one, okay. Use we have it in here. Let okay, cool. So so so, so let's go ahead and do what we have to do. Yeah, so it's, uh, he got it now. Okay, it's not uh, not an issue. And we don't have the markers in here. So let's define the markers data as we learned before, <coughs> and we'll return an object marker. So what the marker will be empty. Okay. So let's see what he gave us in here in the markers. Did he give us something here? Okay, brilliant. He didn't give us, but let's see what the result we have. Okay, cool. So we have the map at least. So let's make it a bigger because it's a little bit, uh, not little bit, it's very small. So how we can make it bigger? Okay, uh, we come here. And give it a class or style directly, okay. And width, I will fill the width, okay. For the height, let's give it min mini height at least min height of 600 pixel. So I at least give me, and it can be a scratch as well when the screen get bigger, okay. So this should do the trick for us. It didn't have no idea why. So we have the style in here, and did we? Oh, sorry, I did it in the marker. We should make it in here. Sorry. 
all right cool so it's not too bad it's not too bad it's very it's very nice okay and so let's go back in here again and see what we have to do i will give uh, some reference here okay i will tell you why uh, we use this okay so we will use it in the future okay and yes yeah, so we have a location and we have position in here okay so let's okay we have the markers index blah, blah, blah. so let's draw something in the map okay so i have my latitude and longitude location you can grab it for if you go to google, google map and search for your location okay anywhere and just maybe your home or whatever in here and just uh, click right click and what's here and you got something yes yeah, so you got this okay any location you want okay uh, i grab my location so i will define in here like center maybe okay and i will put this location for me after i did this location i went to center the map for this i'm not going to i will uh, okay so have okay the center in here so equal to the center and let's make this of 19 and okay i'm not going to do this for now okay I will draw marker in here in the center itself. Index, there is no need for index. Okay, center, clickable, draggable as well. Okay, I don't need this as well. Okay, so let's make it uh, very simple. But we will revisit this again and again. Okay, so I'm not sure if this will work. So let's hope. Yeah, cool, it's working. So it's through the, the mark, and as you can see, the zoom how is the zoom so yes you got the idea guys here and you can of course define here uh, three four location and loop as he show us in the example but for the simplicity so to understand this is the idea in uh, here like this okay so very cool stuff very cool stuff everything is sounds great okay guys the last thing before i wrap this video i want to make a switch button here very quickly so i have uh style and i want to come in here and paste this code so basically checkbox okay with some class so we need to grab as well uh, some class for this so i will tell you how we can just use the class so I, so I will have it okay so as we can see if i go in here we can see just checkbox okay i need it as a switch so how we can do this as you know, uh, Vue.js provide the style in here, okay? So I grab this uh, ready style. You don't need to worry about what it does, but it does, does the trick for us. Okay, as we can see in here, so this, yes. So this will allow us to change the vision of the map, which we'll do it in the next few lesson. Yes, guys, this uh, for listen today, uh, for listen today. In the next lesson, we're going to do the car animation, how the customer he can see the car animated and we will do the vision night and excellent stuff is coming up thank you guys for watching and please subscribe and like this video and so you don't miss what is coming we're going to do a lot of uber stuff and we're going to do full control panel to control the website as well so until then see you bye